So hello and welcome back and in this video we will take a look at the grid layout. Last time we used the flex box to design the footer and the header and to design our shop items we will use the grid layout and to learn about the grid layout um, I'm using grid garden here to learn about the grid layout and I would recommend you to, to check it out as well. Um, I will also link the side in the description of, of this video. I'm just moving really fast um, through this exercise here. Um, you have basically in the grid layout a grid container um, that defines the template of the grid and then you can position each element um, where you want on this grid you can specify the grid column start and the grid row start and the grid row end as well as the grid column end. It also allows you to layer different items on top of each other and so on and so forth. You can learn all about that on the website. One important takeaway here is maybe the fraction um, the fraction unit which takes up um, a fraction of the original uh, of the remaining size. So for example if you have two FRs then the remaining size will be split into two. So one FR takes up one fraction. You can see how it's used in practice um, also in the footage that is shown here in this example. You can also if you are stuck with the grid garden um, always come back here. Unfortunately for this video the original audio got lost where I explained it in more detail. Um, I'm sorry about that but um, this is fixed in the next video again. Um, there was a problem with the audio in this video. So hello and welcome back and in this video um, I want to continue to style this website. In the last video we learned about the grid layout. So I will utilize the grid layout to style this item. And also I think I want to have the header fixed also like the footer is. So yeah, let's see. First of all, let's position the oh, this is not the header. This is the list in the header. The header is here, and this should be fixed on top. So let's see how that looks like. Okay, 
think we need to get rid of the padding again. Okay, and there needs to be a padding a little bit at the bottom also, better. Or maybe just increase the height. See how that looks like. Yeah, that's perfect. And now we need to See how that looks like. Like this. Okay. Now we want to style our item here and have that a grid. Have that to be a grid layout. So this is the shop item class. I think I think we don't have that already. Ah, here it is. And that's the says display grid. Oh, sorry. Template columns. Hmm. I'm not sure yet how many we need, but maybe we should have two like this. On the left hand side we have the the image and on the right hand side we do have the um description. And then we need to have heading. Then we want to have the description as well as the image. Maybe two run. Then we want to have the price. It should be one. And also the buy button, or should we have the buy button on the left and the price on the right? Maybe that should would also work for me. So we need to have yeah, let's do this as two then, and this one also is two. Let's take a look at how this looks now. Yeah, of course we need to specify a lot of things now, because this looks like a mess now. We can get rid of those two values because that should get managed by our grid layout now. Also, we don't need want to have the load property again. This should now be. Oh, first of all, let's start with the shop item H1. This one should should go.
Armor Crypt Template. This should start at the first and it should span to the And for the grid row, should start at the first. This one should start at the second. Also here at the first. And then we have our description with which is the job ID key element. This one should also start in the second row. And should start in the second column. button which should go start should go on the third and here in the first I'll just see you one second how I did the price and I don't think I need a P element for that. So we can select a better. And this should go quit row start into third. And grid column start should go on to the second. And now let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks almost right. <laughs> Just the image is, of course, way too big. I do think if we set the width to 100% and the height to auto, then it should match 100% of the parent. And auto. I'm not sure how that would look, but let's take a look how this looks. Yeah, much more like it. The header is too small. And let's see. I think this needs to be larger than before. Let's take a look. And that looks much better. This one I wanted to add. So I think that looks fine now. Of 
course there's nothing happening right now. But this is basically how I would imagine a simple webshop to look like. I mean, it's very simple, but this already looks fine to me. I'm not sure if you should have a grid layout um, all around here also. So we could have multiple of these um, maybe separated left and right. Or if we just want to populate the DOM manually with JavaScript then later on and just put them directly into the main. And I think that's what we will do. I think um, we will just use the grid layout for this one and have the other ones just be pushed into here. So maybe let's continue styling this a little bit so it looks better. And I would populate this with um, something that looks more realistic. Because Kitten is not that cheap. So. Yeah, maybe we should leave this to have something in here. Let's style the button a little bit. Shop item button, let's Something like this might look more like an actual web shop. But also give it a border. Solid color like something like this. Yeah, that does look more like a button where you can buy something. But we also need to change it when it hovers like here. So we know we can click it. And what should change is the color that should change from white to to black. And it should change the background to white. Like this. Let's see. Well, that looks like a little bit more consistent now. Mm. Maybe this should have a little bit more padding, I'm not sure. 
but I think honestly I think this looks very simple of course but I think this looks pretty fine now maybe we should give the image a border as well But that is styling wise. Aaron, this is this everything I thought about styling wise. I think this looks pretty fine. Yeah. Let's just leave it at this for now and then we can start to implement the functionality in the next video. Yeah, thanks for watching again and see you next time.